Hey folks, good afternoon. Um, this is going to be a short video just announcing a collaboration that, uh, that we are arranging. So this last week um, I attended uh, or, or was on one of the live streams for, for another channel. Uh, one of our subscribers, uh, I'm subscribed to them and, and vice versa. And uh, we started talking about food is where the discussion went. And then uh, that discussion then migrated further onto the topic of meatloaf, one of my favorite foods. So multiple comments followed during that discussion on how everybody liked meatloaf. And voila, the idea of a meatloaf war was born. What's a meatloaf war, you ask? Great question. Meatloaf is one of those foods that everybody says they do it really well. They've had the best meatloaf of their life. Um, you know, so whenever I go into a new restaurant, um, that's one of the things that if I see meatloaf on the menu, I'm going to always get the meatloaf. It's just, you know, I grew up on meatloaf. My mother made meatloaf. I've kind of spent, you know, the last 30 years of marriage trying to master my meatloaf recipe. I take my meatloaf as serious as I do my smoking and barbecuing. So that gives you some insight into my head and how much I like meatloaf. So when I go to these restaurants, I order the meatloaf. Some of the meatloaf is really, really good, and I would like to take the entire pan home with me. Other meatloaf is not so good, and I start asking myself, can I use this for fishing bait? So when they make these claims of how good their meatloaf is, you know, I look at meatloaf and I'm thinking, you can't just say you got the best meatloaf. You got to prove it. <laughs> so just recently, another one of the channels that uh, we follow um, here on La La Farm is Urban Grandpa Prepper. If you haven't, if you haven't seen Urban Grandpa Prepper, check him out. Uh, Urban Grandpa Prepper's up in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and and he just he's just a very very down to earth um uh and, and 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 just talks about things everyday things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis and and some of the turmoil in the world but i i enjoy interacting with ray at urban grandpa prepper um but i told ray this last week i'm going to steal one of his lines and uh, so i've got to give him credit for this uh ray says don't ever argue with someone who believes their own lies and i think that applies to meatloaf you can't just say you got the best meatloaf. Even if you believe it in your head, you got to prove it. And that's what Meatloaf Wars is going to do. So to all those content creators out there, all the channels out there, let's see your best shot at the best meatloaf around. I say, let's go to war. Let's go to Meatloaf War. So if you want to participate in Meatloaf Wars, it's pretty simple. Just create you making your best meatloaf a video of you making your best meatloaf post it on youtube and then you're going to use the hashtag meatloaf wars if you don't use the hashtag meatloaf wars you're not eligible to participate in this collaboration by using the hashtag meatloaf wars we're going to be able to see all of those videos uh, done by all of the channels uh, regarding their claim to have the best meatloaf around. So if you've done a meatloaf recipe in the past, that don't count. It's got to be a current meatloaf recipe. So you can't just go to an old video where you made some meatloaf and put that hashtag on it. These got to be current videos of you making your best shot at the best meatloaf around if you want to win the meatloaf war. So once all of the meatloaf war recipes are posted online using that hashtag meatloaf wars, then I will be adding all of those uh, collaborators, all of those channels that are collaborating in this uh, meatloaf war to this video. So all of the participants, all of the collaborators will be readily identified in this video in the, in the description for this video. So channels will be able to submit their um, meatloaf war videos up through September 30th of 2020. On September 30th, 2020, um, the meatloaf wars um, battles will be done. And at that point, we will begin 
tallying the votes from all of the subscribers. So as you are posting your videos, make sure to drive, make sure to announce, make sure to promote your videos on your channel and drive them over and have them vote on what they're, so that they look at this playlist and they determine what is the best video? What is the best meatloaf in the meatloaf wars? So YouTube subscribers, YouTube non-subscribers will determine who has the best meatloaf. Hopefully they look at these videos and they make those meatloafs and they try them firsthand. And then they'll come and vote on the best meatloaf. On or about September 30th, I will then post another video. And on that video, that will essentially be the video voting booth um, where um, people can come and vote for the best meatloaf video uh, from whatever content creator, whatever channel that is from. So hopefully, the subscribers, the people that are doing the voting, you only get one vote per person or per channel. Ideally, what they're going to do is they're going to come in and vote on the best, the tastiest, the most mouth-watering meatloaf they have ever had in their life. And then, hopefully, whoever wins the meatloaf war will be able to make the claim once and for all they have really good meatloaf, if not the best meatloaf of all people who participated in the meatloaf wars. So voting for meatloaf wars will continue through October 31st. On October 31st, the voting will stop and I will begin tallying those votes based on who makes the best or based on the votes for who makes the best meatloaf around. So why would you do this? Other than bragging rights, obviously, for who makes the best meatloaf, why would you want to do this? So whoever, whatever channel, whatever content creator wins the meatloaf wars, they will be notified and they will receive a custom-made wooden American flag from another one of our uh, YouTube favorites. Um, we're subscribed to their channel. They're subscribed to ours, which is uh, Rustic Woodwork and Family. Uh, Brandon over there is a great guy, and we've ordered a couple of, of these flags and just incredibly happy uh, with them. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what uh, the winner of the Meatloaf Wars will receive. Now, obviously, on the flag, it's not going to say the winner of Meatloaf Wars, but they will be able to have those bragging rights as the winners of the meatloaf wars so even before i did this video obviously uh between the time that i went live on the live stream last week and today i've already had some commitments from other channels that they want to participate in meatloaf they think they got the best meatloaf recipe and i say bring it on some of those channels are baja wild man nuffin edited n-u-f-f-i-n Walsh Farms, buddy of ours up in uh, pretty close to us up in Blackshear, Georgia. And obviously the host of this collaboration, The La La Farm, yours truly. So I say game on, Meatloaf Wars channels. Do you think you got the best meatloaf around? Are you feeling froggy? I say prove it. Let's get on with the meatloaf. Shall the best meatloaf prevail in the, the meatloaf? Yeah.